Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic Things with Alejandro. Today we're going to talk about the Double Master spoilers so far. Uh, we're going to talk about some cards that I want to see in particular play. We have the Magic Birds. They're awake. Partially. Partially awake. Uh, it's kind of late at night so uh, they should be sleeping by now. So they, they might fall asleep in the middle of the video. So let's get started. Path to Exile. Um, it's been reprint a bunch. It's a modern staple. It's used in Commander. Um, you exile target creature. Its controller may search the library for a basic land card and put that card into play tapped. Then shuffle their library. This is very important because you can do this as a response. Uh, when they're attacking you or something like that uh, exile the creature uh, if it's indestructible you can get rid of it this way another great card that is getting reprinted is Vengevine it has haste uh, whenever you cast a spell if it's the second creature spell you cast this turn you may return Vengevine from your graveyard to the battlefield so one of the best cards for Hogak, I particularly like that a lot. Uh, Hogak was being played in Modern and in Legacy, but uh, it was pretty much banned in Modern. Uh, at least most of the pieces that were pretty good for it, like Faithless Looting and The Breach. Um, I still like the card a lot. I am starting to play Hogak in Legacy right now and it's kind of different especially because of the crab the with landfall you get to this uh, discard cards from target uh, player uh, so that means that you can target your opponent to mill them or you can target yourself to mill yourself so you can get Hogak or some other um, card like the bridge or menu by itself so Pretty excited about that. We have engineering explosives. This is an artifact that comes in with um, X counters on them. If you pay two sacrifice engineering explosives, you destroy each non-land permanent with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on engineering explosives. So this is very good. Um, Overall, in modern, um, you want to destroy things that otherwise wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to to get rid of. This was good, for example, like uh, when you have a bunch of um, convert mana cost one creatures out there, you can play this, sacrifice this and get rid of the whole army that your opponent has on the other side. So pretty cool card. Mox Opal, I still haven't been able to get my playset. It was banned in Modern. Uh, we don't know what the rest of the formats um, are going to carry. We do have another version of the Mox Opal, which is like a box stopper version. I understand, uh, so right now, the VIP boxes are going to have these cards, the alternate art box topper version of the cards. So pretty excited about that. I was already thinking about picking up a playset of Mox Opal, so this is great. Force of Will. Um, this is interesting because uh, the original Force of Will by Therese Nielsen um got taken out so now this reprint that we have for modern master uh for double masters 2 um still features therese arts on it so i'm not sure it was probably before uh wizards had a fallout with therese and they have also these um box stopper art I, I think it's pretty cool. 
I'm actually looking forward to getting one of these cards myself. Jay's the Mind Sculptor uh, played a lot in the blue decks. Uh, you can brainstorm, which is pretty much, you know, uh, draw three cards and then put two cards from your hand on top of the library in any order. Um, it's just for many things in modern. Um, you want to do the minus one to return a creature to its owner hands. Um, very powerful planeswalkers for for blue decks and now we have the box topper version that i believe this is the same version that came out in uh i uh, might have been the world of the spark um uh, special edition boxes that came out that nobody could get <laughs> so uh also with ugin um so the bubble the bubble is currently 11 Ten dollars more or less. Uh, this is your player applies. You sacrifice the mischievous bubble. You look at the top card of target player's library. You draw a card at the beginning of your next turn's upkeep. So very powerful. Uh, you can play it in any color, but it's usually played by blue players. Um, pretty cool reprint. It was. Uh, Printed recently in Iconic Masters, so the price is still creeping up. The, I think it's a good reprint right now. Atraxa. Atraxa was uh, printed back in, uh, what is it, the Commander Anthologies 2, which is the version that I have, which is foil. Uh, it's a flying vigilance that touch lifelink creature. Um, usually used as a commander for what we call a Traxa Dex. Um, and basically the biggest thing for this is that it has proliferated at your end step. So a lot of counter uh, decks and everything use this deck, um, use this card and it's really, really powerful. Uh, the fact that it's 4-4 four, four flying for 4 mana um, it's great. We have the box topper version of this, which is the I think is pretty cool. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's gonna be great. Double in season. This is an enchantment that goes very well with the Atraxa decks in Commander. Uh, if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control it creates twice that many of those tokens instead also very useful for token decks um, if an effect will put one or more counters on the permanent you control it puts twice as many of those counters on that permanent instead so I have cards in my Atraxa deck that do like I don't know um, six hunters on a creature uh, there's a creature that flies that you you pay what is it like two uh, green and two uh you can get six hunters so this will give you 12 counters uh pretty busted busted card uh it was 50 60 dollars last time before they started talking about reprinting this card on the double master set and i particularly there's a lot of comments online that it doesn't look that well, uh, they don't like the art, I like it a lot. I like dinosaurs a lot, so this is a happy marriage between dinosaurs and double in season, so I like it a lot. Then we have the filter lens, also pretty much using Commander as I know, you can let me know in the comments if I'm mistaken of anything, but basically um, we call this the filter lens. Uh, so this one is the grilled one, red and green. So you have to have another land um, that produces red or green and in order to get another mana of uh, the same color or the other color. So you will get double red, red green or green green. You can also just get colorless as well. So these are not fetchable, so you cannot get them with the fetches. Um, we have another one 
the for the black and red the Azorius one the oh man the mirror there you go and the Celestia with the Bastion so pretty cool lands uh yeah we should we should have gotten fetches I'm sorry that is the only criticism that I have for this noble hierarch <laughs> I recently bought a playset of noble hierarchs uh I am like I'm happy we're getting it I'm not happy I just spent a bunch of money buying them so <laughs> um pretty cool car I love the art they also have a uh, box stopper version, which I kind of want to place it uh, using Infect in Modern, which we already did the deck deck for. If you want to look down my videos, I probably put a link on them in the description. Um, basically, has Exalted, which is you attack with one creature and it gives it plus one plus one until end of turn. Um, it also is a, pretty much a mana rock, it gives you green white or blue then we have uh, probably one of the most political uh, lands uh, we have the extended art lands uh, very very close to the unhinged ones I think they're gonna be great I just love them I would like to get foils of them as well these are just basic lands uh, the island looks ridiculously cool uh, the swamp, the mountain, you see, it's okay. But the forest also, between the island and the forest, I don't know which one I like the best. Then we start talking about Tron pieces. So apparently Wizards wants everybody to play Tron. Yay! Woo! I can already hear the firestorm in the comments. Um, as you know, I'm a super avid uh, mono green uh, Tron player in modern uh, I just love it I I don't know what to tell you this is, um, we have trash tusk uh, this is a creature when it comes into play it gives you five life then if it gets uh, if it leaves play the well, from the battlefield you get a 3-3 green beast token out of this so it's crazy blocking, especially for Tron. You get the life. Sometimes we run out of life before we can stabilize. Uh, you get two blockers. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. This is a great card. Expedition map. This is how we get the Tron pieces, which they also reprinted. You pay two sacrifice expedition map. Search your library for a land card, reveal it, and put that card into your hand. Then shuffle your library. You can just get anything you want. Anything. Sky's the limit. It says it's a land. You get it. That's it. End of story. We have a box stopper version. You know, you know who's looking for a, a place out of this. So, amazing art. I just, I love it. I just, the best. Card Liberated, another great piece for the, the Tron decks. Uh, probably the, the main focus of the Tron deck, except for Ugin, which was just reprinted in, in Core 21. So I'm telling you, this uh, Wizards is on board with me. We want Tron players, and we want them now. So Karn Liberated, for plus four, you target a player, exiles a card from their hand. Um, Minus three, exile target permanent, just anything. We don't care. Anything goes. I usually do the one, two. I do minus three first, and then plus four, and then minus three. And then eventually you can restart the game for minus 14, leaving uh, in exile all the non aura permanents exile with card liberated. Then put those cards onto the battlefield under your control. So totally busted. I if you ultimate this thing, it's like usually, you know what? I think I have only ultimated corn once. So 
<laughs> it's unheard of. It's just very randomly, seldomly rare that you ultimate Karn. People just quit way before that, so busted card. Now, something very controversial. Uh, the new um, box topper art of Karn, which goes together with the hands which are the Ursa Tower Mine and uh, Power Plant it's all come together in one piece of art I think it's amazing I wonder how much mark for, for that piece of art I wouldn't mean it you know great stuff uh, another card that gets played Tron, uh, it slows down your opponent, especially decks or some kind of like decks that just wants to slam for a bunch of creatures in you coming at you. Uh, Tron usually doesn't play very well with that, so anything that any spell that would cost less than three mana to cast now costs three mana greatly slows down the format, especially for modern. It's just Slows down your opponent. Crazy. Have one of the first uh, Ursus lands, the Ursus Mind. Um, it just taps for colorless. If it doesn't, if you have all three, uh, what we call the Tron pieces, it will tap for two instead. This is the box topper version, which I I really want. I, I just uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful to me. This is a power plant. Amazing. It's just amazing. I just love it. The ex the box upper version of this is just great. I, I just love it. The tower. Not my best top uh, tower version. I think probably the winter or summer will probably be the best. Maybe autumn. I don't know. From the original lands. Um, Unlike the mine and the power plant, if you tap them for you tap them for two instead of uh, one, if you have all all the three lands, uh, the magic birds are like falling asleep. I'm trying to. <laughs> They're looking silly. Oh. Like eleven thirty right now, they they like bobbing their hands. Anyways, so the tower instead of two is gonna tap for three. When you have all three of the pieces, I really like that tower. I'm not gonna lie to you. Amazing stuff. Walking ballista. Another versions of Tron also run walking ballista. Uh, since you can, uh, you know. Go crazy with the mana, with the Ursus lands. You can just pump this thing for as many counters as humanly possible. In Commander, we also have a combo right now. In Pioneer, we have a combo with Heliod that just goes infinite. Uh, just busted. Worm Call Engine, one of my favorite cards. Uh, I call this the Blue Killer. Uh, you put this down and the blue players don't like it. If they can't get rid of it, they just scoop. So, loving it. Um, print. This thing was creeping up on the $30 already. Um, the box top version, I am not super ultra, you know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. But it, it looks a lot like the worm that just got printed for M21. The art doesn't seem that much different for me. Is there in bridge uh, creatures with power greater than the number of cards in your hand can attack? So this is just uh, basically just uh, stops attacks. Um, also used in uh, Tron, um, we call that the toolbox Tron uh, with the little corn. And you can just get well, you can just get the snare and bridge from your sideboard and. Just thumbs the game, just thumbs the game. And there you have it guys, so 
Super excited about uh, Double Masters. Uh, the excited to have the Magic Birds again, which are sleeping. They are not happy right now. I guess next video we're gonna try to make it a little bit, a little earlier for everybody. But stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna try to get some boxes for Double Masters. They're f very pricey. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so we can grow this channel.